I think English has definitely parts that are hard to pronounce. Like TH can be a little hard, like the, like things like that. And then like R and L can be difficult to pronounce for certain. But I also know that English has a lot of loan words and that can be hard too. I think that for me personally, Southeast languages are very hard to pronounce. We have a lot of like Latin influence, but I feel like there's a lot of like Mandarin Chinese influences in Southeast Asian languages. And so having that as like the basis is a little bit difficult. So I would say that for me personally, Tone, tonality is really difficult. In a lot of Asian languages, they kind of like shorten the ends of words really quickly. So I know that that's difficult for me. Hmm. Personally, Indonesian, I think it's not like difficult to pronounce per se because you know, you can just pronounce it the way it is. There are some words that might have like silent H's, but even if you pronounce it as it is, people in Indonesia would still understand mm. you. Well, I'm not sure, but I think Thai, Thai language is not difficult too much, but if you say something wrong, maybe it's different mean. I think the Filipino language is not that difficult to accept for the words that have ng that sounds as mm in the middle like for western people i don't think that's easy for them uh, in vietnamese we also have the ng sounds yeah and some people they cannot pronounce it and then they also have a different tone and like even the north side and south side they pronounce differently so I think it's really hard. I think tonal languages are difficult in yeah. general, yeah. like Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think I think this would be pronounced nyangi. Close enough, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna try? Nani. What does it sound Thai? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting like tonality in there? Nani. Okay. Nyangi. Oh, I think yeah, you guys all did pretty well. It's nyangi. Yeah, nyangi. 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 Yeah. What's mean? Uh, it means singing. Singing. Oh, oh nyanyi. Yeah. Okay, so I'll try nyanyi. Oh, yeah, that's Good? perfect. Nyanyi. 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 I think like at the behind, like the nya was okay, but the ni, a lot of people skip the y. It's just like nyanyi, kind of like nyanyi, nyanyi. Yeah. Nyanyi. There you go. Because you mentioned like the ngs, and I was like, oh, oh, like this, this is the word. Okay. In Indonesia, we pronounce it menggonggong. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Menggonggong. Close enough, close enough. Yeah. Kind of? Yeah, okay, kind okay. of, kind of. Menggonggong. Oh. Oh, oh, that's really sounds. Yeah. Menggonggong. Menggonggong. Uh, mm. the, I think every got, everyone got the gonggong part correct. Mm. But like uh, the meng, it's, it's not meng. It's, oh, it's meng. meng. Yeah, oh. meng. Meng gonggong. Uh, and I noticed that when like a lot of foreigners try to speak or learn Indonesian, that's like one of the most common mistakes that you make. Mm. Meng gonggong. It's an uh. So the E always kind of makes the mm. Not always though. It depends on what word you use it. I mean... It's mm. the same for English. Like, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't complain. Yeah. I can't complain. You, you can't. You have the least right to be yeah, right here right now. Because you get to see like how it's divided per syllable. Yeah. Meng, gong, gong. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm. It basically just means woof woof. Oh really? By a dog. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Now this Thai word difficult to pronounce. This is Kalakada Kom. What? Karakada kom. Wait, can we, can you can you can you break it down? Karakada kom. Do you wanna try? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're first. Oh, oh thanks. Kara kara ku. Karakada kom. Karakada hum. Ooh. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'll work. Karakada kom. Ooh. Are you Thai? That wasn't that bad. Are you Thai? Are you Thai? Yeah. Can you try it? <laughs> How about you? Karakadakum. Ooh. Karakadakum. Yeah, she's, she's just Thai. like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does it mean though? Like, you are? Mm. Mm. Ah. June. But so it's com. Does it mean like month? Yeah. Like six months? Yeah. So it's something, oh. something com. It will be like another. Com like. Oh. Yes, also a month. What about for February? 28. Pan. February is Pan. Gumpa Pan. The next one, Unna Hapum. Unna Hapum. Some Thai people call like Unna Pum. Okay, let's try. Okay. Unna Pum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Unna Pum. <laughs> Anyone have some like Pum? Pum. Unna Pum. Oh, yeah, mm. something like that. Unna Pum. Oh, so proud. <laughs> <laughs> can be Thai now. Too soon. Like ondo. It's hard for you guys, no? So like in Indonesian, if you read that, you'd be like, Shun <laughs> Pumi. <laughs> so you don't have to read. I think that it's like, it's a little weird if you read. Yeah. 
I think it's really difficult to romanize Thai if you yeah it definitely this way. Yeah. it's so different even though we're saying the word correctly like is it actually correct though you know what I mean because I know that I would probably be getting the the tone yeah mm. I think it's difficult to lead mm. I have to say that when I first started learning like Asian languages, Thai was the first one I tried. I have exactly 15 minutes of study and I gave up. <laughs> I'm not even joking. The program I was using, it times you, and it, I literally have 15 minutes in Thai, and then I was, I was like, that's So you know, like, so Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then I, I visited Thailand as well, and it's a beautiful country and a beautiful language, but very difficult. Oh no. So this is one of the difficult words to pronounce in the Philippines. The first one is kinakailangan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mental breakdown. <laughs> Do you want to try? Okay. I'm like I'm memorizing it like in my I'm I'm uh, hopefully smoke isn't like coming out of my ears right now. Okay. <laughs> kinakalai. Hold on. Do that one more time. <laughs> Kin kinakailangan. Getting there. <laughs> kinakalai. La. Next one. <laughs> Kinakailangan. Oh. Oh. Kinakailangan. Oh. Kinakailangan. Oh. Mm. Very good. It's yeah. the ng in the middle, that ng sound in the middle that is really hard for. Usually, I feel like in your guys' languages, like the ng is always connected, right? Mm. But in a lot of English languages, you would kind of like split, like <gasps> lan gan. Lan Yeah. You know? Yes. So when I see it, I immediately see like kin akai lan gan. You know, so that's how my brain would break it down, but it's like divided differently. Mm. Mm. What's that mean? That means important. Important? Yeah. That's a really important word to know. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and it's that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or what's needed, important, yeah. Now, this is actually perfect for Christmas. It's Komo Koti Koti Tap. Oh, we use this a lot during Christmas. Okay, so Komo Koti Koti Tap. Because we say we say this word really fast. Oh, how would you say it like? Kumu koti koti tap. Oh, great. Kumu koti koti tap. So it's a song. Oh, it is a song. Next one. Kumu koti koti tap. Oh. Kumu koti koti tap. Oh. And the answer is kumu koti koti tap. Oh. And what does this mean then? Oh, that's um twinkling. Oh, that makes so. That actually makes sense. Yeah. I can see that. Oh, was it difficult to pronounce? Yes, como kuti kuti I think that uh, individually, I think the sounds are not difficult, but the combination of sounds is very different than like English. So that was, I think, the hardest part. I think it's like yeah. almost like a tongue twister like, to, mm. to a certain yeah, extent, tongues. like all the K's and the, you know. But like if you compare it with Indonesian, it's similar in the way that you would actually just pronounce it the way it's written. Mm. That's yeah. why I didn't have that much like difficulty trying to pronounce it because, and it actually sounds Indonesian almost. That's why I didn't have like that much difficulty trying to pronounce mm. Tagalog. Okay, so now we're going to do the hard words in Vietnamese. And the first word is sữa chua, which means yogurt. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad because I love yogurt. Now that I, I think if I go to Vietnam, I would never be able to get yogurt. Right, so can you guys try it? <laughs> uh, everyone just looks at me immediately. <laughs> States. Okay, so sữa <laughs> chua. Maybe wait one more time. I can do it one more time. Wait one more time. Sữa chua. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she yeah, doesn't look like she's approving yeah, that. Yeah, it's like well. 7 oh, out of 10. <laughs> Can you say it again? Okay. 7 out of 10. <laughs> okay, so the next one is Lu Luin, which is nostalgic. Oh, yeah. Pretty word. Lu Luin. I can try this one. I think I got this one. Okay. Lu Luin. Yeah, but the word Lu make it longer, like Lu Luin. Oh. Lu Luin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Lu Luin. Uh. <laughs> question mark? Question? Yeah, it's kind of a question mark there. <laughs> Lu Luin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lu Luyan. No, you is like Luyan. <laughs> but it has Question. to go up. Yeah, yeah, it's like Lu Luyan. Luyan? Lu Luyan. Okay. 
I give it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is it difficult for you to pronounce? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I think these sounds are like very different than anything that I kind of like grew up saying at all. And it's also like tonal on top of it. But that's not to say that it's not really nice to listen to as well. You know, like I speak a certain level of like Chinese. So I had like a mm. level of confidence mm. until it started to <laughs> just break down. I thought I could do it. I was wrong. <laughs> It was difficult, yeah. Yeah. I think if you're not familiar with like going up or down or like the tone in the word, then it's hard for you to learn. But you you guys are doing very great though. <laughs> yeah. I think I can't go to Vietnam ever. <laughs> no, I mean, I think I gained a lot of respect for people who speak like Thai and Vietnamese as a second language. Mm. I feel like growing up learning it, I feel like you exposed to it all the time. Like that's a very like, you know, it may come easier, but as a second language, Anyone who speaks as a second language, I, I really, I give applause to, definitely. <laughs> I think Vietnamese is really difficult because it sounds like Thai language, but I cannot say, I, know, I don't know why, like maybe of tone, yeah, because yeah, of tone, tone right? Yeah. <sighs> and also the pronunciation, it's not only Louis, Louis. <laughs> you have to go like, like roll your tongue and stuff. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, yeah, like it has like a French almost. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of French. Which, but I'm, I was also really like thankful to like, the Filipino languages and uh, Indonesian as well for being very blatant and straightforward. Even though like the sounds themselves, maybe were a little like the sounds weren't difficult, but like the composition was a little difficult. I was thankful that I could, I knew where I was going. You know, as soon as I got it, I was like, okay, I think I can do this a little bit better. But someone also Thai people also use like karaoke language. Do you know karaoke language? Karaoke. Yeah. Karaoke. Yeah. 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 Don't have alphabet, but have. Oh god. Today we tried to pronounce the hardest words in Southeast Asian languages. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye. Hello! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it is? I think it's obvious like German is very hard to pronounce for foreigners, I think. Especially if the language doesn't have the like common uh, ancestry, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's harder. Like, if it's not a Germanistic language yeah, that right. you speak mm -hmm. as your mother tongue, mm -hmm. then it's gonna be harder. Mm -hmm. I think in Indonesia we have a really strong R, so we pronounce like R. So when we were young, everyone is just like trying to say R, R, R like oh, that. Oh, okay. my new friend. <laughs> 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 my new friend. Yeah. But same for Poland with R sound. Oh, if you yeah. cannot pronounce R the sound in Poland, it's called speech impediment. Oh, okay, well yeah. I have a speech <laughs> impediment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I really, I cannot roll my eyes. So in the USA we say squirrel. In the UK we say squirrel. Can you guys try saying it like an American? Squirrel. Squirrel. I feel like that sounds close to the British. Yeah. yeah. To me, it sounds the same sound. Yeah. <laughs> very, very similar. Squirrel. Squirrel. And squirrel. 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 What? It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like swell with a Q, almost. Yeah. Mm. There's just a very squirrel. slight separation between like the R's and the E L. Squirrel. Squirrel. Okay. That was good. Oh, that was very good. Mm. Squirrel. Mm. That was good. Yeah. And squirrel. Squirrel. The R is more pronounced. Squirrel. Squirrel. Okay. Squirrel. <laughs> and then I think in Indonesia we pronounce it squirrel more, mm -hmm. more like British. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than squirrel. Yeah, oh, that was right. That oh, was right. Okay. Yeah. Squirrel. Yeah. This sounds like the British one. Though. Squirrel. Mm. Which one that's, was it? <laughs> that's more British. Yeah. Okay. The Americans, they kind of glide mm. over the R's. Yeah, mm. we don't really separate those mm. into syllables. Mm. In the USA, we say flautist. In the UK, we say flautist. So if I had to guess, I would have pronounced it flautist. Mm -hmm. So it's flautist and flautist. Flautist. Oh, that one, okay. Flautist, flautist. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think. Flautist? 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 Yes. Flautist? Flautist? 
flautas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so with the Brit British pronunciation, you can just imagine the U as a W, mm -hmm. like floor, like someone's floor, mm -hmm. flautist. Flautist. So, this is a Spanish word and it means left, uh, and it's pronounced izquierda. 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 Mm, pretty good. Izquierda. Oh. Izquierda. Okay, maybe the vowel. Wait, uh, can you say one more? Yeah, word? I better. Izquierda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm cheating. <laughs> the last vowel. Uh, izquierda. Whoa. Izquierda. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Izquierda. They are doing really well. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Left. I mean, we can all say left now in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> the next one is desafortunadamente. <laughs> it's just long. It means unfortunately. Desafortunadamente. Okay. Just a second. Desafortunadamente. Desafortunadamente. Because it's like you start the, okay. the, the sentence, right? So, so like, hmm. desafortunadamente. Desafortunadamente. Okay, the T's are like German. Oh. It has that touch, it's not German. <laughs> desafortunadamente. Okay, you just can pass with Spanish, the biggest Spanish. <laughs> desafortunadamente. Ooh, you, well, you were close! Wow. Say it again, say it. Desafortunadamente. Wow! wow. Desafortunadamente. Oh, so, so sexy. <laughs> Desafortunadamente. Oh, which word was more difficult? I think the first one. Yeah, the yeah. 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 So this is a Portuguese word that means tomorrow, and we pronounce it as amanhã. 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 A this is a hard one. M -ny. A -ny. A -ny. A -ny. I know. <laughs> A -ny. A -ny. Okay, that's pretty good. I, I wasn't laughing because of you. I was laughing because it sounds similar to something in Polish, which yeah, means something and in we, Turkish. We are not, or something like that. Huh? <laughs> something in Turkish as well. Oh. A -ny. A -ny. A -ny. A -ny. That's good. Yeah. What are you talking about? Amanha. <laughs> Amanha. Ooh. I think the only thing you have to put the emphasis at the end. Amanha. Amanha. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's uh, strengthening yeah. the last word. Because uh, of the accent. Oh, that's okay. an accent? Yeah. Ah. Ooh. But usually when you have an accent, it changes the, like, the way you pronounce it. And it also indicates where the emphasis is. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. Amanya. Amanya. Okay, that's good too. Amanya. Amanya. What am I doing wrong? I don't even know. You're pronouncing the N too much. Oh. Amanya. 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 Ooh, no way, no. I love that word. So this word means exception. And I'll tell you that most of the letters are not pronounced how you think they are. Oh, okay. So we say exceção. What? <laughs> what? what? Exceção. 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 I can't tell if it's M or N. Exceção. That was good. That was good. Do you want to say it again, Haley? Exceção. Exceção. I hear it already many times, but I am still confused. I don't know how you do that with no. First part is great, everybody. How about you? SS. <laughs> SS. That was not too bad. SS. Styling the last oh, yeah. one. If I said that, we will all understand because that sounds very difficult. Uh, this one means thank you in Turkish. It's pronounced as teşekkür ederim. Like it's not 
that hard. It's just long. And there is like two K sound, which is like teşekkür. Teşekkür ederim. It sounded so cute. Teşekkür <laughs> ederim. <laughs> wow. That was nice. Teşekkür ederim. That sounded German. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Yeah. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Kür. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Everyone did it good. Teşekkür ederim. Yes. It's good. This one means water bottle. It's just hard because it's in the what is tongue twists. They usually put this. So, sushi shese. One more time. Sushi shese. Sushi shese. So the SI makes like a like a sound. Yeah. Sushi. Sushi. Sushi shese. Sushi shese. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Sushi shese. Sushi shese. Sushi shese. Ah. Sushi. Yeah. Sushi shese. Sushi she si. S H S S. Sushi she si. Wait wait wait. Sushi she si. Sushi she si. Gotta gotta do it slow. Yeah. Sushi she si. No. Sushi she si. Sushi she si. Sushi she si. Okay. Your turn. Sushi she si. Yeah, that was good. You didn't even get like uh, all the the twisting of the tongue, you know. Sushi <laughs> shashi. That's good. The, the next German. word is German, and it means rubber duck. Kvitsche um, entchen. Kvitsche entchen. Oh, maybe it's not that hard. Kvitsche <laughs> entchen. Yeah, good. Kvitsche entchen. Okay, so the last th chen. So kvitsche entchen. Kvitsche entchen. Yeah, okay. Kvitsche entje. Entjen. There is an N at the end. Ent. Jen. Jen. Kvitsche entjen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Do you want better? Kvitsche entjen. Yeah, good. Kvitsche entjen. Yeah, good. Kvitsche entjen. Yeah, good. Well, Kvitsche entjen. I think everybody can do it. Okay, so this word is dragon fruit in German. Drachenfrucht. Drachenfrucht. Okay. <laughs> the frucht also. Drachenfrucht. 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 Okay, yeah, I heard I hear you struggling, but you did <laughs> well. Absolutely. <laughs> Drachenfrucht. Yeah, good. Wow. wow. Drachenfrucht. Drachenfrucht. Yeah. Drachen. Drachenfrucht. 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 Yeah, like make sure not to swallow the second C H. Drachenfrucht. That's very good. Drachenfrucht. Yeah. The next word is happiness in Polish, and it is szczęście. Whoa. What? Szczęście. Szczęście. We have like sh, sh, m, sh, ch, e. One more time. Szczęście. Szczęście. Stemstien. What? Okay, one more time. Stemstien. Not bad. Stemstien. 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 Okay, let's say. Stemstien. 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 Not M, not N. M. Stemstien. 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 Yeah, not bad. Okay, the next word is Absolute in Polish and it's bezwzglądny. Bezwzglądny. Yeah. So W in Polish is like V in English. So bezwzglądny. 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 Yeah, not bad. Bezwzglądny. Yeah. Bez. Bez. Bezwzglądny. Bezwzglądny. No, no, no. Besiblandy. I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Besiblandy. Yeah, not bad. Besiblandy. Besiblandy. 
Bez was glen. Oh, great, yeah. It's Indonesian word for singing. It sounds nyanyi. Nyanyi. Oh, yeah. Nyanyi. Nyanyi. Oh, nyanyi. Yeah. Nyanyi. 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 Yeah. Nyanyi. Yes. Nyanyi. Yes. Nyanyi. Oh, I think everyone is doing great though. Oh, this is kind of hard. It's I don't know how to explain, but it's like kind of reduced. So we say minimal, minimalisir. There's like minimal, a there's like, like a rhythm. Minimalisir. Oh yeah, that's wow. right. Uh -huh. We do it with the rhythm. Minimalisir. Yeah. <laughs> we do it with the rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Minimalisir. Yeah, true. Say it again. Minimalisir. Minimalisir. Say it one more time. Minimalisir. Mo minimalist. Oh, perfect. Mo minimalist. Mo minimalist. Yes. Mo minimalist. Yes. I thought Polish was the most difficult. Are you sure? It was definitely the most difficult. Yeah. I agree. I think also Polish was hard, but also Polish was easier. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a raccoon. It's a raccoon. Wait, y'all, wait. Time out, time out, everyone, time out. People are gonna go off on me. Well, some people tell me I look like a raccoon, so. Uh, uh, well, how do I say it? Tratbion? Tratbion. 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 I am raccoon. Very good. Very good. I love this word. Okay, I, I'm gonna take my knowledge from the password, Bion. So, Gion? Groin? Mm, mm, yeah, second that sounds one. like groin. Mm, groin. That looks like groin sack. <laughs> that looks like something inappropriate in the US. Bion? Groin sack. Great. Very good. Because it doesn't have that A, so it's not. Groin sack. Perfect. Did I do it right? Get on the Oh god. Get on the And this is this is also so funny as a Swedish person why I think this video is hilarious because I see this word and use this word in Swedish so many times and now I start to you know when I hear you you know and I start to picture it it's like grön sak and it's two different two different words okay. and now it makes sense for me too. <laughs> why we call it grön sak in Swedish? I'll give you a hint. Okay. You consume this. You eat this stuff. Wait, is this something you this. eat at Fika? Do you have no, this at Fika? <laughs> no, not at Fika. I mean, I do like, I do like grön sak, but at Fika, nah, nah. Green grön, grön means green, color green, grön. grön. And sak is a sock. thing. So it's a green thing. I never thought about that. Salad. Like, is it real? I mean, salad <laughs> is under the big category of what salad, cucumber, like what's everything under the big category? What type of food is it? Mm, vegetables. Yes. Vegetables. Grand sack. Flood hast. Very good. O, o, o. Flood. Flood hast. The O is pronounced O. Like ooh. very. So it's flu. The second word you did so well this last time. He, 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 hest. Hest. Flood hest? So good. Flood so good. hest. Also makes so much sense. <laughs> well, that looks like flood, but the hest is giving Very you good. Nothing. Very good. <laughs> really? Very good. Flood hest? Mm. Is it some type of season? Is, no, it's actually an animal. Hest, I never know. Yeah. <laughs> hest is horse. River horse. River Flood horse. hest. Okay, river horse. See, this is gonna throw me off again. A horse in a river. Yeah. A hippopotamus. <laughs> Wait, is that right? I mean, isn't that kind of right? <gasps> Hippo! Yes! Oh my god, High I was five. about to say like dolphin or oh like a god. shark or I something. I mean, it makes sense, no? Hippo. I, my, my ancestors who created the Swedish language, like, very good. Flutes. Nice, good job. Flutes. Very nice thinking. Flutes. So, fruit makes is so much river. Sense. Yeah, yeah, flu. Yeah. Is there a lot of hippos in Sweden? Uh, we <laughs> don't have a lot of hippos. I was about to say, hippopotamus are kind of scary. Yeah, They're yeah, I, scary. I, I, we have no hippos. Oh, <laughs> Tupler. <laughs> oh, this, this is the important words. This is important? Okay. Yeah. I love doing this. This is a verb and I love it. I use this ver uh, word very regularly. Tupler. I'm a big fan. Tupler. Tupler. Oh my god. To blur. To blur. To blur. And the thing I said with ancestors, like creating good names, mm. like this word is a bit more trickier. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, this is not giving me anything in English. Yeah, and, and I don't know what to say to you. Rooster, Rooster phone. phone. <laughs> I mean. Is that accurate? I was scared. Let me think about this. Let me think here. Okay, yeah, so to, yes, rooster. Uh, that's correct. And lur. I mean, yes, lur. It could be used as phone. I think more slang, like old lang Swedish language slang, is also like you take a you take a lur. Yeah, you take a, you take a take a rest. Take a lur. Take a lur. A rooster rest. Oh, take now a nap? I now I can. Nappy? Yeah. Is it nappy? It. It's napping. <laughs> It is very good. Yeah. Now I think it makes sense because roosters wake people up right early right. in the morning. So maybe it's like a short nap after the rooster has already woken people up. Or something also, like, like when you go back to sleep in the morning. Kinda, kinda okay. like a rooster nap. In Sweden, we, we do use the word nap though a lot. Nap, just nap. Jag, jag går och tar en nap. Uh, nap. I go and take a nap. I take a rooster phone. <laughs> <laughs> Being completely honest, if I would pronounce this in English and like my southern accent, George Goober. George Goober, mm. straight up. 
Uh, the, the O is a bit more <laughs> O-y. Very so common weird. Swedish thing when you see an O in Swedish. Like, mm -hmm. it's more like O, O, O. You. I write that J. Jord. Jord. Jord Gubar. You Gubar. Jord Gubar. Gubar. That's not one. That's not that bad. That was probably the easiest bad. one. Yeah, it's pretty good. And Jord I Gubar. love this. You love this? Yeah. In the summer, we have this on like a cream cake. You have a cake, mm -hmm. torta, and you put sweet. you put these on top of the the cake. You need to try this uh, Swedish uh, yogurt torta. Swedish. Earthman. Earthman cake. You and you said this is on top of a cake. Yes. Is it something that I would actually know as an American? Is it a type of fruit? Well, I mean, you're definitely getting somewhere now. Yeah. And and when you look at the word Earthman, what do you think? Oh, uh, unfortunately, so, I'm not a farmer, and I don't know what berry goes in the ground. I'm gonna say cherry. Strawberries. Ah. Strawberries. Strawberries. Honestly, I was just thinking of Goofy Goober from SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking about cherries on ice cream. I was like, is SpongeBob Swedish? Your Goober. Goober. And it's it's absolutely delicious. Your it's Goober. absolutely delicious. Swedish strawberries, Swedish Earthman. You need to try. But that sounds like some other language. I feel like another language has a close version of strawberry to that. It's very unique. I actually have no idea why we call it Yugubar or, or Earthman or uh, Earth soil characters or whatever you want to translate it to. I mean, there's pe probably people in the comments who could help me because it's very hard to translate. Glida pie in a rock maca. Hey! Glida pie in rock maca. That sounds like a dance. <laughs> oh. It's a very good Swedish expression. If you say this to a Swede, it's like, it's like you're Swedish. Like you, you become, you just become Swedish. Okay, let's go first. Glida. Yeah, slide. Slide. You slide. Pain. It's a po. It's po. the, the ah. dot over the a on the po. Ah, po. And so glida. Glida. Po is on. So slide on a. Slide on. And like this is maca. this is the best word ever. Okay. Like, like maca, we, uh, like I mean, it's so delicious. I mean, I love it. You need to go to Sweden and try a, a really good rak maca. You slide on. Food? And you slide on if you <laughs> if you slide on uh, rak maca, it kind of means that you glide through life. Like it's it, you don't really have any struggles or troubles. Mm. It's like the expression like born with a spoon in your mouth, <gasps> kind of like oh. that. Let's say you're let's say you're calling a friend. Let's say you're going to a friend's place. Okay. And you arrive a bit early. Okay. And the friend might be like, "Wow, you arrived so early." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I came here on a on a on a rak maca. On a and shrimp sandwich. On a shrimp sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so rak maca is a shrimp sandwich. <laughs> because you know when you when you're driving your car and mm -hmm. you just hit green light after mm -hmm. green light after green light, like no struggles on the way, no traffic control like fart control you 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 go on a on a on a toast sandwich uh, oh, a shrimp so sandwich i guess shrimp sandwiches are popular in sweden so it must we make love life it. easy it's so nice what do you Honestly, think Honestly, what do you think i'm gonna be honest this? this was confusing because mm -hmm. sometimes like the trans the exact translation did not relate to the word at all. Honestly, like the Earthman, the strawberry, I would have never guessed that. If you wouldn't have told me it was a yeah, fruit, yeah, yeah. I would have never guessed that it was a fruit. I mean, and, and also for me, I think it was very interesting as a Swede because you only see, for me, like I, I grew up with you goodbye, like strawberries. I, I don't really, when I read, talk Swedish, I don't really start to translate like what the words actually mean. Right. So now when we're doing this, you, you kind of get the, ah, oh, like Earthmen, you know? <laughs> so it's a kind of a funny, interesting to see how we came up with these funny words. Right, right. Uh, so today we talked about the strangest Swedish words. And if you liked the video and thought it was funny, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. Bye. Hello. I don't know their languages. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not. Um, I think every language is kind of difficult. I've heard that French is really difficult to pronounce because they you have different like sounds that mm -hmm. we don't really make in America. Or, so. Uh, the, uh, yeah. Sounds, exactly. Right? Exactly. Bonjour. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible for us. Yeah. People. <laughs> I don't think I could ever sound native. So yeah. Yeah. Honestly. I think French is really difficult uh, to pronounce for the exact reason you say. And even like, honestly, when my friends say like, oh, I really want to learn French, I'm like, wow, good luck. <laughs> 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 because I think 
even for me, even if I'm French, I think French language is really difficult to learn. We have so many grammar rules, so many like nonsense things in our language. I think <laughs> German is obvious that it's a little bit hard to learn, like the grammar especially with all the genders and the pronunciation, I guess, too, so yeah, of course. Uh, I thought that Italian grammar was the hardest part to learn while learning Italian, but actually after living abroad and talking with other people from other countries, I discovered that actually Italian pronunciation is quite hard, surprisingly, mm -hmm. so let's see later. <laughs> <laughs> this is words in Spanish, and it is electroencephalografista. Oh! It's the, the person who studied the... Can you pronounce it? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, electroencephalografista. Electroencephalografista. It was good. <laughs> French accent. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Electroencephalografista. Electroencephalografista. <laughs> Electroencephalografista. Oh, that was the closest one. Yeah. <laughs> Italian, similar. Yeah. <laughs> Electroencephalografista. That's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Electroencephalografista. Oh. It was better than I was expecting, yeah. I think Italian was the best, maybe because the language is kind of similar. The next word is Ovo Vivíparo. Oh. This sounds so cute. <laughs> It's, it's an animal that creates inside the egg, inside the mother, mm -hmm. so it, it fully develops inside the egg. Oh, like ovary? Is that yeah, the word? Yeah. yeah. I mean, for example, the snakes, they are this kind of animal because they develop. Ah. Can you try to pronounce? Ovo vivi paro. It's so bad, I'm sorry. It's so hard. Ovo vivi paro? Ovo vivi paro. Ovo vivi... Ovo vivi paro. Ovo vivi paro. Ovo vivi paro. Ovo vivi paro. Is it difficult? For me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the easier than the, the other one. I feel like if I would hear it more, like more than once, then maybe it would be easier to copy it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's so me. <laughs> Okay, so the next word is French, and we say milfeuille. So it's definitely like a dessert name. I think you already tried it before. It's when you have like several, like, I don't know, like lasagna, but for like uh, pastries. I don't yeah. know if you see what I mean, right? Mm. Can you guys try to pronounce it for me, please? Uh, milfeuille. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so funny. Milfeuille. Ah, milfeuille. Better. <laughs> milfeuille. <laughs> Mille feuilles. <laughs> so funny how you pronounce it. Mille feuilles. Mm. Sounds ah. good. Mm. Mille feuilles. Mille feuilles. Oh, really good. Mille feuilles. Mm. Mille feuilles. <laughs> yeah, I guess the next word in French is caoutchouc. I don't really know how to explain it in English. It's kind of like um, material we use, for example, um, how to say that? I don't I struggle like finding my. So, caoutchouc, want to try? Caoutchouc. Mmm, really good. Caoutchouc. Caoutchouc. It's actually really similar to German, so. Really? Caoutchouc. Caoutchouc. Yeah, but you don't pronounce it yet. Caoutchouc. Mmm, perfect. Caoutchouc. <laughs> caoutchouc. <laughs> caoutchouc. <laughs> so cute. It's actually not a cute word, but how you pronounce <laughs> it makes it like, sound so cute. <laughs> I really like it. You have to be pretty good because in French, don't focus on reading. Wow, oh, you all of it so good actually. Italian, I suppose. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did pretty well. Okay, this is a Swedish word. The word is hukratiska. Oh. And um, I think for Swedish, this is hardest to pronounce is the sound. It needs to be like throaty but without the vibration. It means nurse. Oh. So huk is sick and kratiska is to take care of. So, would you like to try to say it? Can I hear it one more time? Am I loud? Hukhwatiska. <laughs> Hukhwatiska. Mm -hmm. I don't think the spelling is helping me. No, <laughs> at no. all. Swedish spelling is a bit sometimes. Hukhwatiska. 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 
Hawk this car. Who is who? Who is who? Who is who? Who is who? I think she did the sound the best, but I think you sounded pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this word is trakasserier, and it means harassment. <laughs> <laughs> which I will give if you don't get this right. <laughs> so, uh, so, I'll say one more time. Trakasserier. What you say is completely different than yeah, the, right? the word I'm Ooh, reading yeah. there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, I think me, you're adding letters. Trakasserier. <laughs> it's exactly how it's written. It's just two S's for a short vowel. So, let's go. Trakasserier. <laughs> Trakasserier. 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 I think everyone was pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. this, this is easier than last one. Was it difficult? The, the first, first one was one. worse. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was harder because here you can just actually read it, but the mm. one before, impossible to read it if it's almost Swedish, I think. Yeah, sometimes the spelling is a bit... Yeah, right? Mm. ...difficult. Okay, it's... It's basically a shelf in your kitchen. Oh. Ah. <laughs> He's the like cooking, right? Something yeah, yeah, like exactly. Oh, the sooner to you. No? <laughs> Do you guys want to try pronouncing it? Ah, uh, wait, in Dutch it's so similar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, because the, the umlaut you read as e. Hoogie hashlit, hash, hashlit. Hoogie hashlit. Hoogie hashlit. I think the three of you were the best. Oh. But all of you did really well. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, this one is actually very easy. It means break, like taking a break. Mm -hmm. And it's pronounced ustzit. Easy to say. Ustzit. Ustzit. Uh, similar to German Auszeit. Ustzit. 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 Oh, the Z is hard. I think yeah. the row here did the best. Because it sounds like the Italian uscita. Mm. I don't know. It's another meaning, but still. Kind yeah. of sounds like the same. Ah. Uh, even I had to read. <laughs> to like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the next word is touch. It's meteorologisch. Even I have like pronunciation difficulties. <laughs> Meteorologisch. Because I never say this, but it means like meteorological, like some, yeah, mm. that's what it means. Meteorologist. I know it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Meteor it's because like I can kind of read it, but it's not right. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. <laughs> Meteorologist. 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 I think uh, you were the most similar. You almost sounded the much, I think. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and you were also like mm. perfect. Uh, so the next uh, word means airplane. It's mm. vliegtuig. Oh. 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 <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like what I'm saying at all. But can you guys pronounce it? Vliegtuig. <laughs> vliegtuig. 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 Okay, I think you were really good as well, and also German. Is the G pronounced like? Yeah. Ah, so okay, like that's Vliegtuig. Yeah. Vliegtuig. Was it difficult for you guys to pronounce? I think so. it was difficult to guess how to read it. Mm. But if I hear the way you pronounce it a few times, maybe I can do it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the throaty sounds are difficult. Yeah. For, me yeah. at least. for me, it's hard because the words itself are similar or like yeah. the same, like mm. meteorologisch, but we yeah. would pronounce it differently in German. Right. So same, it's hard same, for me yeah. to change my pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have any throat sounds. So <laughs> to me, like anything, like oh, all of them are difficult. Yeah, but especially kind of what you said, like with the spelling was similar to words I know. So it was hard to like be like, oh, but it doesn't sound like that. It's different, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is an Italian word. It's a part of the boat, and we read it as Kiglia. 
Oh. <laughs> She's more surprised than us. <laughs> skipping all the letters, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. Oh, uh, Kiria. 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 So I think the best ones were Sweden and Germany. Mm. Wow, I'm doing well. It, I think <laughs> it's hard for everyone to say the G L sound. Because everyone was like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but we actually read G and L in a, in a sound, like together. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's not gl. Yeah. Um, okay, another Italian word, it means ice, and we read it as ghiaccio. Ghiaccio. Uh, ghiaccio. 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 Okay, not too bad. Uh, I think here the hardest part is pronouncing the two C. So it's not ghiaccio, but it's ghiaccio. 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 Italian is like a deeper. Yeah, it's ghiaccio. So Italian. Ghiaccio. 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 So how was it? Probably the easiest so far. Yeah. Really? Because mm. if I had to read it, I wouldn't guess, but when you actually just give us the example, it's actually easier mm -hmm. to read. Okay, so the next word is German and it means squirrel and we pronounce it Eichhörnchen. <laughs> so do you want to try? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Eichhörnchen. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, well. Wow. Eichhörnchen. 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 Oh, oh yeah, that was it. good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think you two did it the best. Yeah, but actually, American was also good. Oh, mm, wow, my yeah. first one. <laughs> <laughs> and the next word is ice skating, and we pronounce it Schlittschuhlaufen. 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 I think everybody did pretty well. You're all German now. <laughs> so, <laughs> multicultural. Did you, did you think it was difficult to pronounce? It was easier than the last one, I think. Mm. Yeah, I think when, after hearing how you say it, it wasn't too hard. Like, for me personally, like, there wasn't anything that I was like, I can't pronounce that. It's impossible. Mm. So. For me, it was hard eliminating my Swiss dialect and trying ah. to pronounce it as standard German as I can. For me, it was not so difficult because it's like a little bit similar to Dutch. Mm. So. Mm. And I think uh, some languages are easier to pronounce depending on where we're from. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> it's surprisingly difficult to imitate like the other accent in German, so like Swiss German and then, for example, Netherlands, like Dutch. It's so similar, but also it's really hard to mm. change it, so yeah. This was very fun for me and definitely more difficult than I thought. It's, it was really interesting learning like all the different words. And For me as an English speaker, I felt like um, Swedish was the most difficult to replicate and read. I've heard that a lot, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so today we try to pronounce like difficult word in each languages. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hello. Hello. I mean, I already expect what will be the word, and I cannot pronounce it. So I'm sorry, Polish people. We've looked up the longest word in English, which thankfully is not coming out today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> long, and it's like Latin based, so it's yeah. an interesting pronunciation. I think it's just not longer than German. But German is not here today, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I think in my language, it's more like the pronunciation is harder. Mm -hmm. uh, in French, I know the, the word is quite long, but I obviously don't expect it to be the longest because mm -hmm. quite quite short still. So, in American English, although it's rarely used nowadays, this term would be anti-disestablishmentarianism. So if you think of like, the word establishment oh. and then Arianism because it's like a it's like a school of thought, it's like a particular mm. principle. Can you guys try to pronounce? <laughs> I can try, but I will fail. You can go slowly too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. slowly. Anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Anti 
is establishmentarianism. Oh. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Mm -hmm. mm. Anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> That's not <laughs> so Spanish. <scary. laughs> <laughs> Anti disestablishmentarianism. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Go Saki! I'm sorry, because I'm bad at this. <laughs> Anti disestablishment Aaronism. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. English, yeah. Thank English. God is a word we never use. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like always an aneurysm. Yeah. yeah, I'm having an aneurysm. aneurysm. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, like, hearing that word, I know where did it come from because mm -hmm. it's like a yeah. bunch of words yes. together. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's not just like one confusing thing yeah. on its own. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is the longest word in Polish, which is technically not a real word. It, like it could have a meaning, but we don't use it in okay. real life. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Konstantino Politańczyk Wieneczka. But it doesn't even fit in this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, po no, po no, no, po no <laughs> Are you guys ready to try it? Oh, no. no. Ready. <laughs> I just thought I wasn't ready to, but they made me do it. So. <laughs> Oh, Vienetska. Oh, not bad. Konstantinov Politanka Tsiakov Yannyska. You lost it in the middle, but it's okay. Because, like, how do you pronounce C, Z, Y, K, K, K together? C and Z together is Ch. Konstantinov Politanov Yannyska. Slay. Slay pronunciation. Konstantinov Politanov Yannyska. Is it right? The ending was really good. <laughs> the <laughs> ending. Konstantinopolitan. <laughs> you started really well. <laughs> you say the beginning, she says the end. Perfect. Konstantinopolitan. <laughs> wow, perfect. <laughs> Konstantinopolian Kovianetska. It was really close, yeah. Ooh. Is it yeah. like a tongue twister kind of yeah. thing? Yeah. Polish word. What do you think? Was it difficult for you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, French. Okay, so the longest word in French we say anti-constitutionnellement. No, but wait, slowly, you know what I mean? Anti-constitutionnellement. You guys eat letters. Like, <laughs> I think it's a very different meaning from yeah. like, English mm. words. Because we, when Metal. we put two letters together, it makes one sound. Mm -hmm. For example, O E N is mm. Okay, guys, do you want to try? Anti constitutional element. Oh, oh, hey. oh. Okay, pretty good. Anti constitutional element. <laughs> <Metal. laughs> oh, pretty good. You got the beginning and the end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm French now. <laughs> Anti constitutional element. Oh, oh. Yeah. you guys studied French or something, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I studied French, right? Back in the day. Oh, okay, so girls, I did not, so <laughs> I'm gonna you can do try it, my you can best. Do it. I believe in you. Anti constitutional Yeah, pretty good. Mm. Anti constitutional. <laughs> 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 okay. Wow. <laughs> Anti constitutional <laughs> okay. okay. so I'm pretty good. But I think our main problem good. is that we don't listen to her, but we focus on reading. Yeah. And that's yeah. why we. Because like, I forgot how yeah. we. Anti-constitutional. Oh, yeah. Better about. Better about. Anti-constitutional. Here's some yeah. years of attitude. You see, guys, it's not that scary. It's shorter than the other, you know, the Polish one and everything. We say it. Ophthalmotorhinolaryngologista. What? This is something about here, the doctor, right? Ophthalmos for eyes, otorhinos, ears, laryngo is here, logista is doctor. I was like an ENT. Sounds like you're trying to summon a demon or something. <laughs> okay! Better than the last time we tried. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was great. Okay. <laughs> it has a flare. <laughs> 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 of 
Tau Mutar Rinolaringologista. Ah, I forgot the R sound in Oh, it's actually supposed to be an O. Oto, oto hino. Ah. Can you fix after the T is at O? Ofta motoro lingo la Oh yeah. <laughs> so so cute. cute. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, lay. Ofta moto ringo ringo Ringo, ringo. Mm. Ringo, ringo. She's the one low key slaying all of them. She's the last one. So, this is the longest word in Spanish, I think. But it's this muscle right here in the back of our neck, and it's esternoclidomastoideo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> esternoclidomastoideo. Esternoclidomastoideo. Okay, girls, are you ready? Let's try this. Okay, come on. You guys wanted to learn Spanish? <laughs> I chose French. I chose <laughs> so this is not, I like her. Esterno clido basto ideo. Slay, yes. Esterno clido basto ideo. Yes. Esterno clido basto Yes. Oh. Esterno clido basto ideo. Yes. Oh. That's really good. I just Spanish. Esterno clido basto Yes. Nice. Esterno clido basto ideo. Ooh, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Estredo Dio. Oh. I think this one is the one that you guys are doing better. Yeah. I think this is the, the easiest one. I'm not sure. For you. That. This is the easiest one because in Indonesia itself, we use it a lot. I don't think the other uh, word, do you guys use it a lot in no. daily life? No. No. For no. Indonesia itself, we use it a lot in the real life okay. because it's kind of word but you know korean chop misa and chop dusa ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, you know what i mean yeah. 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 yeah 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 that's right oh, yeah. so okay. we say it mempertanggungjawabkan mempertanggungjawabkan Oh, yes. Is it tanggung in there? Mempertanggung. Mempertanggung jawabkan. It's pretty good. Mempertanggung The middle part is kind of. But it's okay. Mempertanggung jawabkan. Oh, that's a cute one. Mempertanggung jawabkan. Oh, that's a great one. What? Mempertanggungjawabkan. 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 Oh, that's better one. Oh, yeah. Mempertanggungjawabkan. Oh. Okay. Why are you so good, girl? Teach me. Is that a tongue twister in Japanese that I see? Okay. Wow, the one we doesn't use it. Torakashito kamo to suru toki no unai. Is that not a sentence? It's sentence. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you spell wo one? Wo or o? Ah. Toragahito wo kamo tosuru toki no unari. Oh, perfect. Oh my god. Toragahito kamo tosuru toki unari. Good, good. Toragahito wo kamo tosuru toki no unari. Hmm. Toragahito wo kamo tosuru toki no unari. Toragahito ko awo kamo. To suru toki no unari. Good. Toragahito kamo to suru toki no unari. Toragahito wo kamo to suru toki no unari. Wow. Everyone is perfect. I feel like Japanese is a very straightforward pronunciation. Yeah. Not that we can read necessarily the characters, but we can romanize. But I feel like if we all we're supposed to read how we like see the words. It'll be like totally different, and we'll oh, right? oh, yeah. so. so in Georgian we say they talk sick, they don't know clean shower. Okay, that one. 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 Okay, I would just read it how I would read it in Polish. So, Desoxidrin Bunoklein mi Java. Desoxidrin Bunoklein Java. I have no idea. This one? I have no idea. I already forgot. Desoxidrin 
Honlu Klein Java. Wow. Perfect. Perfect? Wow. Nice try. Desok si dribo no Klein Java. Yeah, sleep. Desok si dribo no Klein Java. Ooh. Sleep. Sleep, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Desok si brok. And then there's Saki creating a whole new word. Oh my god. Everyone did well. I think the Georgia one is the hardest for me because there's so many consonants together that it's impossible for a French person to pronounce. Yeah, but it was so interesting actually. I think for me the French one was the most. Same, same. The French one. Yeah, really hard. Like the pronunciation, but like the. The sound that you put in uh, the word. Yeah, mm, yeah. I think, yeah. Can be tricky. Mm. I think Indonesian was also pretty yeah. difficult. It's very nasal. She said it so quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when I she she spaces it out, it sounds one way. When she says it quick, it sounds like another word. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's the easiest one, I think. Yeah, I'm the original. I think the, the mine was like the one you guys did the best. Yeah, oh. Spanish yeah, yeah. Because I I feel like we have. A E I O O like the vowels. Mm -hmm. For example, I think Japanese and like we have like the same I O in English. Yeah. It's yeah. A like yeah. Spanish. Mm -hmm. So I think you all all know how to pronounce like yeah. the mm -hmm. vowels and the like the yeah, we you know. Same so I you just had to read. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And there was sure. no tricky letters together. So today we try to pronounce like each like longest word in. It's like a language. If you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, and let us know down in the comments which word you would have the most hard time pronouncing. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. My name is Shannon. I'm from the U.S. Hello. My name is Karine. I'm from the Netherlands. Hola. My name is Irene, and I'm from Spain. Hi. I'm Janine, and I'm from the Philippines. Hi. My name is Anna, and I'm from Brazil. Hi. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm from Belgium. I mean, I'm Spanish. The, you know, it, that's already possible for me to get to that, you know, yeah level. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I speak English. I I went to university. It was in, taught in English. So. Mm. Nope. <laughs> I, I mean, I have my own pronunciation, and I, I'm proud of it because Spanish people like too much. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. But I just wanted to change it. But. I, I love it. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah. It gives character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I have an okay pronunciation. Yeah, it's good. literally you sound like you speak. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, it's version. It comes out though. You know, if I get mad, you you see the the, mm, the change. Oh. Out. She gets spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have generally good pronunciation. You do. Don't be too kind. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Brewery. Wait, wait, no. Wait, let me have a second Don't be scared of me. Brewery. I like how she's slowly like. <laughs> I'm where I should be. <laughs> we, we, we know we told her. We know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm going for it. Brewery. That was good. That was yeah. Good. yeah. Yes. Brewery. Oh. What? It was, yeah, it was okay. The ending was like a little bit. Brewery. Oh. Brewery. Okay, I'll let it fly. <laughs> Brewery. Okay. It's yeah, it's right. It's what? right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brewery. Brewery. It's kind of like the word rural, where you blend the second Brewery. R with the W, so it's it's very hard to pronounce. This is a Brewery. difficult word, even for English speakers. But I think they all did a good job. I think the only thing is you guys are really focused. Yeah, so you're saying it really slowly. Brewery. Brewery. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel the tension. Because we're waiting for the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You're saying it slowly, but you're saying it right. Oh no. Unfortunate. 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 Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Unfortunate. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone was good. Yeah, we would say an unfortunate. Yeah. But everyone said it really well. Tongue. 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 I think we're all following oh. each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it wasn't wrong, but these two had an interesting pronunciation. Can you say it one more time? Tongue. Okay. Tongue. Ooh, okay. It's yeah. Hate crime. Hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the 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 sound is a little bit wider, 
you have more of a slight A sound and she has more of a slight O sound. But it's not wrong. Like if I heard you speaking, I would know exactly what you're saying. So it doesn't, I can't fault you for that. How would you say it? Tongue. 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 Uh, uh, uh. uh. Yeah, tongue. Tongue. <laughs> that one, yeah. the name, I think the name. How you said it? I think the name is the best. How you said it? You said it better than the best. Tongue, tongue. Yeah, good. Tongue. Yeah. She's a little slower, like tongue. But it's right. It's right. Okay. February. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Don't, she looks at me every time. She February. Mm. February. Mm. Yeah. I think the only difference for this one is you pronounce the, R. the R-U really uh. heavily. And it's spelled that way, but we don't typically say it that oh. way. We usually say February. We don't pronounce February. the second R or the first R at all. Oh, February. 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 Just February. February. It's kind of how we say it. February. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> To say February sounds a little bit uh, <laughs> a little bit weird in, in English because we speak it quickly, so we just say February. Mm, but February. yeah, there is that er in there. I hate this word. So I so hate this word. Yeah. No. Americans also don't like this guy. This is kind of like a mumbling sound. I it really like. is. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just mumble. Yeah. Just mumble. Rural. <laughs> rural. Oh, rural. <laughs> rural, rural. Oh, rural, <laughs> rural. Oh, I can't. I don't. I don't feel rural. wrong hitting anyone because I don't rural. even say this word right. <laughs> rural. rural. This is like you know that like rural. that listening challenge where it's like Laurel or Yanny. Oh yeah. That's what this word sounds like to me. Like it doesn't make any sense, but it's we would just say <laughs> rural. Oh, rural. rural. So if you if you're listening like rural, it sounds more like R E R. Rural. It's not like rural. We say rural. Rural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that sounds like a crying dog. Kind of. Rural. This word dinosaur. As I once said. Rural. Rural. I get it. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> good job. Rural. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Try again. Try again. Can you do it again? Yeah. Rural. Rural. Yeah, very okay. good. Whoa. But in Spanish, it's rural. Yeah, it's rural. 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 But see, rural. this pronunciation rural. makes more sense when you look rural. at how it's spelled. I think. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That, the Spanish pronunciation sounds more like it looks than English. Sorbet. Sorbet. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Sorbet. She's oh. lying. What? I'm gonna try my style. Sorbet. That's how you say it in what? Dutch. What? You're all sorbet. wrong. Oh, it's definitely sorbet. 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 All right. Okay, wait. <laughs> sorbet. Oh. Huh? This is, this one is gonna get like some hate comments, but there's two ways to say this word. Sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it, How Shannon? Say it? Sherbert. What? what? No. Okay. Sherbert. 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 <laughs> gonna you get need to leave. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Guys, don't. Actual... Where's the oh, age? Where's, where's Sherbert? The, where's listen, the... listen, listen, listen. The reason I said that there's two ways to say it is because. Sorbet is technically right, but sherbet is kind of how we would typically say it. In North Carolina? Well, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. But like, <laughs> well, you know that this word comes from French, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah. Sorbet. <laughs> sorbet. That's how they would say yeah, it. Yeah, but it, like when I see this word, I always think in the context of like sure, ice cream. Right? Yeah. And so we yeah. would say like strawberry sherbet or like orange oh, sherbet. It so it's written wow. as sorbet, but the way that we would say it when we're talking about it in a certain context is completely different. Wait, can you say it slowly? Sherbet. Yeah, yeah. Sherbet. Sherbet. That's so sherbet. funny. I know, I know. I hate it too, guys. Sherbet. Don't. don't that sounds like a name. America. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like Norwegian or like something like that. Yeah, maybe. You know? So you guys Hi. were all like kind of like half right. So like, do we hit you now? Yeah. <laughs> you guys can all hit me after. <laughs> going to separate the word. So, vineyard. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, can, I know how to say it. Vineyard. 
Is this also like something like Sherbert? Nope. Like, there's just one letter that you yes, don't yeah, need to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That sneaky letter in English that is never said. Vineyard. Mm-mm. No. What? Vineyard. Ooh. Yes. Good job. Vineyard. Okay. Oh. <laughs> vineyard. Vineyard. <laughs> <laughs> we say vineyard typically. If you have an E in the middle like that, sometimes we don't really say it. You just kind of drop it. But you can pick up on like what the meaning is based on the spelling. So if you separate it by vine yard, you can know it's like a grape vine mm. like winery kind of deal. But uh, we wouldn't pronounce it. We wouldn't say vine yard. That sounds a little bit odd. Mm. So we would just say vineyard. Pseudonym. Oh. Pseudonym. Pseudonym. Wait, I need to process that. So in Spanish it's pseudonimo. So. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Pseudonym. <laughs> One more Ooh. time. Can you say it again? Pseudonym. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's in, in Dutch, it's the same word, but like the pronunciation is totally different. Mm. In Dutch, you would say pseudonym. Oh. And then like in English, it's going to be pseudonym. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, that was, all, that was all pretty good. Again, I think it's just an accent difference. I don't think the pronunciation okay. itself is wrong. I think just the accent is slightly different. But we would say pseudonym. Pseudonym. Yeah, pseudonym. So there's more of an emphasis on the D-O sound, I think. But yeah, but I don't think anyone was really bad. Um, drought? Drought. Oh, you did so good! Drought. 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 Yeah. This is like probably the hardest sound when you're learning English, like the O U G H anything is always difficult, like thorough or thought Thar. or through, like those words, because it's pronounced slightly different depending on the word. Like if you take off the D and the T, it's rough. Mm -hmm. So it That's sounds so completely cool. different than the rest yeah. of it, right? Yeah. So this one is a little bit tricky, but we would say drought. It was fun. Yeah. I was just waiting for the hit. Um, I thought it was so difficult because I'm just not used to like saying these words because they're not used like very mm. often. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Because Agreed. of the like the British and like American difference. It's really it's, different. Yeah. And there's also a difference of saying something in the middle of a sentence and yeah. just saying that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of open it and make it look true. like it's true. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But brewery. Brewery. I like the sherbet as well. Sh sherbet. 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 Oh, yeah, that one. That was just Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like questionable. I think she's... I, no, again, like, <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I think she's... I'm also from the South, so we don't say half things correctly. Yeah, I think Sherbert and the crying dog. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the worst. I think, I think yeah. that one is the worst. Yeah, it's that was horrible. It's not a nice sounding word. Yeah. So today we tried to pronounce the hardest English words. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some sounds probably hard. Yeah, honestly, I hear many foreigners trying to speak in French, but they can't get the accent uh. because it's too hard. For me, it's <laughs> echt. <laughs> <laughs> many people can't do that because um, they roll the R like R uh. or R, but echt is very hard, I think. Mm. Mm -hmm. In German too, we have the ch and the sh sounds. So a lot of people, if they like try to imitate German, it's always like, you know, like, no, come on. <laughs> and the u, the and u, the u, 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 u yeah. is hard. We can make our own words in, in German for like with, um, with nouns, we can just put one noun to the next, to the next, to the next, and it makes sense. But if you know the single words, I think you can divide. Yeah, you and, can like, divide and read. yeah, so it's like, as a German, it's easy. And it's actually really great for talking really precisely about something. If you want to really talk like to the point about something, it's so great to make it like, make your own word. <laughs> also in German, they are like special letters. So for example, I know they are sometimes- The, the, the dots, yeah. the yeah. dots. And so how do we pronounce this? <laughs> like actually, I, I learned German, but even then, like I think the most important thing is actually like learning the accent. I think that it's really important to learn like the specific sounds of different vowels. Well, I don't think this word is very difficult, but some people for the J sound, it's like they struggle with that. So the word is 
Anaranjada. 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 That sounded Korean. I don't know why. Anaranjada. <laughs> Anaranjada. Oh. Anaranjada. I think for Europeans, are, it's not hard. Anarakara. Oh, yeah, it's good. I think maybe for other, like, not European uh, languages, it's harder. Because in this word, it has a, a, many as, and after also the R in between, and J. Many people, if I don't pronounce first, they say com, like anaranjada or aranjada. That's why I think because you said it first, like yeah, everyone yeah. was able to read 100%. it. But if like I just see this word, I would, even if I'm Italian and like it's similar, our yeah. languages are similar, but I would have said maybe anaranjada. Mm -hmm. So it's easier if she says it first. Anaranjada uh, means it's a feminine feminine uh, word, but it means like something has orange color. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, naranja yeah, is right. orange, so if you say something is anaranjado, is it has that touch of orange. Oh. So this word is bibliográfico. The R sound is so nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's like, wow. We have the same word in yeah. Italian. It's bibliográfico. Bibliográfico. <laughs> Bibliográfico. 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 Yeah. I feel like I can't read, so it takes so long. Bibliográfico. Mm, well, very nice. I think in this side was a little bit more difficult. Pretty well. <laughs> Slowly, you split the word because you were very clever. You say first biblio and after graphic. <laughs> but I like it, that style, it's okay. I can't read that song. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Everybody did very well. Uh, Julia has the same word, so I don't know exactly. if, if you, yeah, you have an advantage. Yeah. Do you have any similar word? We have one that's called bibliography. I think uh, it's so a, yeah. But yeah, yeah but the, it's a German R, not a mm. Spanish R, so. You can have, for example, an index where you have the bibliography, bibliografia. Uh, okay, so, so like, it's related mm -hmm. to that. Okay. Like citation, I guess. Welcome to the Italian test. <laughs> so the first word is coinquilino, and it means roommate. Oh. Mm. Uh, coinquilino. Coinquilino? That, that sounds so German to me. <laughs> even, I, even I heard it, I was like, no. <laughs> coinquilino. 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 So I think that Spain and Netherlands did very well. I think that the hardest part of this word is the, the sound Q, U, because some people like see it and they don't really know how to read it. But yeah, I think you all did quite well, apart from like some accents. Thank you for lying. <laughs> 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 oh my god. This word means chatting and it's read as chiacchiericcio. Chiacchiericcio. That's right. Chiacchiericcio. 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 <laughs> Oh, actually, everyone did very well this time. I'm not I lying. Think it's I'm not because lying. We are following you. Yeah. <laughs> I was paying a lot of attention this time. I was like, okay, I gotta, I have to get this right. <laughs> oh well, of course, Spain again. But everyone like did pretty much well this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's mean. She's a no mean way. girl. I'm telling you. Do you use this in your daily life? This one is a normal word. I mean, it's a specific word, so I wouldn't use it because I'm just not in the era that this is used in. But I did research different words from normal because, like, I didn't want to repeat the same words that like are floating on the internet as is. So, all right. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do it. Okay. So the first one, the meaning is a boat company. They handle like international boat like transfer, whatever, like ship shipping company. And you say Schifffahrtsgesellschaft. Schifffahrtsgesellschaft. Oh. Nice. <laughs> really? Yeah. No way. Schifffahrtsgesellschaft. <laughs> no, I did better first she time. Did well, I... No way. Uh, Schifffahrtsgesellschaft. Who? Schiffartsgesellschaft. <laughs> Schiffartsgesellschaft. Oh, yeah, well, 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 she can do well, well, of course, of course, I was expecting. Schiffartsgesellschaft. <laughs> yeah, not, not bad. <laughs> Earlier when I said I studied German. <laughs> Forget that. Schiffartsgesellschaft. <laughs> uh, oh, perfect. Yeah. Of course I studied German. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> this is the German word for a screwdriver. And this is one that has like both the cross and the this and this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a um, Kreuzschlitzschraubendreher. 
Kreuzlitz Trauben Dreher. You're so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking that I just created. <laughs> oh my god. Kreuzlitz Trauben Dreher. Yes. Kreuzlitz Trauben Dreher. Really close. French accent. <laughs> yes. Kreuzlitz Trauben Dreher. Correct. Okay. Kreuzlitz. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Kreuzlitz Trauben den Yes. I forgot where I was in the word. That, I think that's the hard part is like not forgetting where you are in the word yeah. <laughs> because it's so long. <laughs> I think I added a few syllables. <laughs> you tried to do blocks because it's very long, but yeah, I was also kind of lost in the second part. It is a lot of words put together, so it makes sense to read it like piece by piece. Mm -hmm. mm. The best, I think you did. Are you sure? You too? <laughs> are I you think sure? Like, actually, like you all did really good. So actually I chose that word because foreigners, when they read it, they don't know how to pronounce it. But if I pronounce you will do well, I think. Okay, so this means squirrel and you should say écureuil. Écureuil. <laughs> no way. Écureuil. 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 I think the one that did the best is Belgium, of course, because we speak the same language, so yeah. Only Belgium, that's so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the, end, the ending is really hard. Yeah, Can I you say the end again? Écureuil. Actually, foreigners don't know how to read this because E-U-I-L, this part. It's a lot happening so, at once. <laughs> yeah, they say écureuil. And, or something like this. Spanish people will always say ecure, ecure uil. Yeah, right? Ecure uil. But in French you have to accord it, so it's ecure. If you want to know, Americans probably would butcher it, like ecurial. <laughs> sounds like a character from a movie, a, a, a girl. Kind of sounds like squirrel. <laughs> so this one, uh, this one means locksmith. You should say serrurie. <sighs> Okay, so the two best was America and Belgium. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it, it means trash can. You pronounce it like prolebak. Uh, that was so fast. Prolebak. 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 Yeah, pretty decent. Decent. <laughs> oh, no. I think you two did the best. Can't oh, believe. Can't what believe. is happening? Okay, let's let's go to. Because I try to do a lot of R's because I know that for some people the R can be pretty difficult. But some, I mean, the way I pronounce words, it's pretty similar to the R in like Spanish. So oh. it's not like the French one. This technically means treasure, but we say it like baby schatje. There's an R that. It's not written, but... No, there's no yeah. R, it's a mm -hmm. schatje. For a reason that I don't understand, I <laughs> cannot <laughs> listen well. One more time and I'm done. Schatje. 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 Good Yay. job. <laughs> I found it really well. I just tried to say sriracha really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so this word is meaning today, and we pronounce like aujourd'hui. 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 Pretty everyone have a good pronunciation, but sure French. <laughs> so this word means castle and we pronounce château. 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 Everyone did well. Uh, I chose this one because I thought I will not show you the pronunciation and the sound with the letter E A U. I thought you will never find how to pronounce it. I think we all were thinking about not showing the yeah, pronunciation yes. first. That's why maybe you guys have the uh, sensation that the words were easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you don't have like a guide, ah, no way. Well, yeah. not with the German for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it was pretty funny to see the differences and like trying, but the German way is too difficult for me. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna learn German. Sorry. <laughs> I think in German you just have to learn like word by word and once you know the single, the parts of the word because they're each their own word already. Mm -hmm. If you know those, you can just add it and it's easy too. But I did pick out mean ones, I'm sorry. <laughs>
even if I'm bad, I like it because you are challenging yourself. Yeah. It was so fun and I want to say sorry to other Belgian people <laughs> because in Belgium we speak French, Dutch and German too, so, but I never learn it so I can speak it well, I can do it. But so sorry. So today we try to say the hardest words in European languages. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you soon. Bye. Bye.